Hey everyone, it's Alana Owlett and Goblin. Goblin's here. Um, I am super duper excited about the new Beauty and the Beast movie coming out. I'm like losing my mind. So I wanted to go ahead and post the work log for my Belle cosplay that I just finished up and I'm really, really happy with. Uh, if you've never seen any of these Clueless About cosplay videos before, this is when I film my work log. Goodbye. Anyway, this is when I film my work log, send it to my cosplay Clueless uh, sister Hallie and her husband Brendan. They actually know the movie and the character this time, so they're being extra sarcastic to compensate. Uh, so I hope you enjoy. Go ahead, like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. And if you have ideas for more ridiculous Clueless cosplay things I should make them do, please do leave that in the comments and I'll make them do that. Uh, so please enjoy and I'll let them take it away. Hi, this is Hallie. And this is Brendan. And this is another Clueless About Cosplay. So what anime is this one from, Hallie? You know what? I don't know. I think it's another magical girl, maybe. I've heard, I think I've heard of this, this beauty, Beauty and the Beast, I think it's called. Ah, okay. I think it was a movie, or maybe it's like based on a book or something. I like... You know, clearly you need a lot of pins to be in cosplay. Oh, I'm sure she goes through a lot of pins. But yeah, I think this is like something girlier it looks like. I don't know, do you know anything about this, um, this character? Uh, can't really say. Here she's French, I guess. Alright, are we pulling it off? Do you guys believe us that we don't know what Beauty and the Beast is? I don't know if we sold that enough. <laughs> I don't think we did. <laughs> what I if like we hadn't, though? That would have been strange. I do know what Beauty and the Beast is. <laughs> um, I want to know in the comments, first of all, this is very important, who everyone's Disney princess is, because we all have our Disney princess. Emily's was always Belle. Mine was always Cinderella, because I like the color blue. So I want to know. Yeah, and mine is a Little Mermaid. Ariel. Okay, he says. <laughs> I mean, but everyone has one. Yeah, I did. I did say, but yeah, everyone, let me know who. You know, it's not Cinderella. Is not my favorite Disney princess movie. She's just always my favorite princess. You know, like the dress. Anyway, <laughs> I see that she's using time, you know, period appropriate materials for sure with these plastic, uh, <laughs> whatever this ribbing doohickey is. Yeah, for sure. I hear that's actually how whale whalebone comes nowadays. Well, it's probably the equivalent, I guess. Some sort of stiff thing for the bodice. So and so and so and stuff and stuff and stuff and lots of fancy settings on the sewing machine. She looks very intense. Yeah, that is a really... That sewing machine does have a lot of buttons on it. You need a lot of buttons. Back in my day, all you needed was a foot pedal. Did you have like a treadle and a... You like ch churned the thing on the side and pressed the foot pedal and that was it? Mostly we just keep a tea set on you it. couldn't surge. Oh, yeah, that's true. It flips, his mother's sewing machine flips upside down. It's built into a table. That is what he's talking about. And there's a tea set on top. Now you know. It has shamrocks on it. It's very Irish. <laughs> I'm always nervous I'm going to knock it over when I'm over there. Okay, new day, new shirt. Still sewing. Turtle power. Oh, I guess so. Who's your favorite Ninja Turtle? Mine was Raphael, because I really identify with his anger issues as a child. <laughs> and to okay. this day, I still do. <laughs> so, anyway, we'll discuss this later. <laughs> Might need some therapy. It's you fine. also have the coolest weapons, okay? Okay, that's fine. I think you also like what his color was red. Yeah. Okay. Also, my favorite color. We'll just red. say it's because your favorite color was red. I want to know when or if Emily ever moves out of this condo. They said How they're many never of those moving. Golden beads they find <laughs> after they move. Next time she vacuums, it's just going to be so loud. <laughs> Nothing but golden beads. Yeah, they'll be coming out of Goblin's fur too. I'm sure. Ooh, there's hoop skirt. We never got to see if she was able well, to pack it or not. I would not want to take that through a uh, flight uh, security. Yeah. All right, what's this? A sleeve, an arm, a glove? A diaphanous something or other. Gauntlet. Wow, a lot of hand sewing. Is she sewing? She must be sewing the beads on there. That's crazy. Yeah. Another day, another pajamas. <laughs> I 
I don't know what we're gonna guess for uh, the if she I don't know if she did it on this, but the cost and hours. I mean, it's got to be a ton. I I'm, I'm I mean, not that's any a better fortune at this. beads alone. Yeah, seriously. But I mean, the sewing has got to take a long time. Well, look at it. It's taking like two two minutes just to do that. So <laughs> clearly, you're overestimating. She's even working by night. Yeah, seriously. She's gonna get like a back injury. She's yep. like a old little sweatshop worker. Now the hair is up. <laughs> the next video she does, she's gonna be very uh, cautious about her posture because she's <laughs> Hallie. Now, cosplayers, make sure you maintain good posture as you're sewing. Shoulders back. You don't want that classic cosplay hunch. <laughs> sewing, 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 watching something. As cosplayers age, they gravitate naturally more towards the Quasimodo spectrum of Disney characters. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. Ooh, her hair looks so nice. Still sewing. She's not paying any attention to us, you know? I know. It's like, look at the camera. We're over here. Making making flowers. So what's your fa who is your favorite character in Beauty and the Beast? Uh, me? Mm -hmm. Gaston, for sure. Oh. How I come? I mean... He's got the best song, obviously. It's a good song. No one fights like Gaston. <laughs> Where's tights like Gaston? He's especially good at expectorating. <laughs> and what's not to love about the guy? Well, except for his attitude. Well, fair. I like Lumiere and Cogsworth. Plus, he makes a very interesting villain because at the end, you're left wondering, who was the Beast in Beauty and the Beast? <gasps> he was the Beast the whole time. Yeah twist ending. That's like M. Night Shyamalan when M. Night Shyamalan was just a teenager. Ooh, I missed what that was. Something Glitter. soft. Glitter. Okay. I can't wait for the wood glue to come. Now, are play. these the same shoes that she must just get these from thrift stores? Like, the same shoes she covered in the red fabric in the last video? These look different. She must just buy these at thrift stores, right? Maybe there's just a very good brand. Ooh, a wig. Wig time. She should draw a little face on that lady. I don't think she should. That would be a little bit creepy. I and mean, she's already got kind of a sphinx thing going on with her nose, like <laughs> Napoleon soldier shot it off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So who's gonna go see the new Beauty and the Beast movie? Everyone? I wanna see it. Probably. I'm just gonna watch the old one again. Okay. Yeah, we should watch that. That is Ooh. my favorite, uh, one of those 90s Disney movies for sure. Oh, Maybe it's a good it's... one. Obviously, when I was a child, it was Lion King. Well, it's hard to compare the two. They're both so good. It's not She's like sewing that on there. Why, Brendan? Let's analyze. Boy. <laughs> They're probably more male characters in Beauty and the Beast than female characters. Although, here's a weird thing about my childhood. I always really liked the three girls in the town who had crushes on Gaston. <laughs> who had on the, the yellow, the red, and the green dresses. <laughs> Which is very lame, but I think I just like their dresses. And I probably like that they were blonde. But, so there's them. There's Mrs. Potts. Alright, so what do you think it's gonna be? I don't know. Probably... 72 hours and $200. It's gotta be a lot more than that, right? Like $400 maybe? I don't, I don't know. know how much fabric costs. I don't either. Beads. It's not like she's re using real gold. Oh, wow. You did much better than me. You know, I almost said 50 hours, but then I didn't want to go low because I usually underestimate. Yeah. So, well, I could go on the prices right with this. Major points for Brendan for getting that price so close. Points for Emily for having that down to the penny and not just rounding it off to like $210. But what a beautiful dress. It's kind of funny that that window matches the windows in the background so well. Oh, it does! Yeah, what a great place to take these pictures. And did you bring the rose, or did the photographers bring the rose? Looks very pretty. I hope you had fun doing this photo shoot. I hope there are a lot of little girls who saw it and got excited. I wonder how heavy the dress is. It doesn't look that bad to me. Yeah, that hoop skirt helps a lot, you know? I'm sure it's not that bad. So pretty. More pictures? I want to see, like, a twirling picture. I wonder if that's going to happen. I don't know. Well, they wouldn't really be a picture if she's twirling, I right? That's true. <laughs> Maybe next time. She has the dress now, so next time I see her, I can make her put it on and we'll do some twirls.